Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at a feature in the 2019 version of SketchUp Pro. So this is a new feature. So if you don't have SketchUp Pro, you're not going to see this functionality. But for those of you who are running the most recent version, check out how to set your line styles using your layers menu. So I have a model on the screen right now of a window. This window is in a group. If I double click into that group, you can see I actually have, so we have a bunch of different pieces. So I have a, a frame out here. Each of these uh, window pieces is separate. And then of course, I have some lines right here. The lines are what are real important in this particular model because what I want to do is as I look at it as one piece, I want these lines to actually indicate the swing of the window. So what I want to do is I actually want to come in here and I want to make these dashed lines. In previous versions of SketchUp, I would do that by coming in and breaking this every so often and deleting every other piece to make it look like a dashed line. In the 2019 version, I can control that by the layer. So if I look at Entity Info right now, if I select this whole group, this is on layer zero, if I click in and I click on these different pieces, you can see that most of these are on the 3D geometry layer. But if I select this line right here, it tells me that's actually on a separate layer, which is 2D lines. So what I can do then is I can come in here to my layers and I can actually see my different layers right here. So here I have 3D geometry, that's using the default line type, but I can take that 2D lines and I can change it into a dashed line. So that's gonna actually give me a dashed line just like I'd see on a plan for a window. That is going to be set for the entire layer. So it's real important to know this. I'm not just setting it per entity, but it's actually a change that's going to affect the entire layer. So if we jump into some other things here, let's go take a look at, uh, I got a few models here. What I want to look at is some stairs. So right here, I have a stairs. So it goes up partway in turns, and I have some segments drawn around here. One thing I have is, uh, it's all grouped together again. I have this arrow up above indicating the up direction of the stairs for in plan view. The other thing I have down here below is kind of a uh, ghosted representation of what those stairs would look like. So if I do the same thing, if I look at these two lines, they're on 2D line, these lines down here, 2D lines, both those groups are on 2D lines. So if I just come and change this to dash lines, I'll see something like that. Well, how does that help with what I'm looking at right here? Well, I can go a little bit further here because I can come into this geometry right here and go in. See, I went in a couple layers there. So here's my main group. I go in there and here I have three groups. I have my lines here, lines here, and then of course my group here. I'm gonna go into this group and this group actually contains all the geometry for my stairs. And if I throw a section in here, Now, if I go to a view from above, maybe turn off my shadows, they look nice, but not exactly what I need. If I look directly from above and I turn my camera to a parallel projection, I got a pretty cool section. So I see where it ends here. I could clean this up a little further, of course. I could go into my styles and turn my fill off or turn to a lighter color maybe and just make that not quite so overpowering. I could take that and say, well, make that the same white color as everything else, and maybe drop my lines down to a one like everything else, and then I have a pretty cool section cut right there inside. I'll turn my section planes off too. A pretty good section cut right there inside of SketchUp. And that's in just inside my normal menu. I have to go to layout and mess with line types or anything like that. I can do all of that, right there inside SketchUp. This works really well with foundation as, as, this works really well with foundations as well. Here I have a foundation drawing, um, pretty simple, little L-shaped building. There's my foundation, my footers. What I wanna do here is when I look at this from above, so if I look at that same view I had before, straight above, I'll turn off my shadows and I'll put my camera into parallel. I wanna see these footers as being dashed. Well, again, if I group them correctly, so here's my group of my whole foundation. If I click in, here I have my 3D stuff, 
My, my, uh, these are on my foundation walls. These lower pieces you see are on a different layer called foundation footers. Therefore, if I jump to that straight overhead view again, I change my footers from a solid line to a dashed line, actually get that look of uh, calling out the footers as being dashed lines rather than solid lines like everything else. I can play with that further by, I can take colors out, look and see what that looked like from plan view. And uh, I can do all of that, cre all, create all of that right from inside of SketchUp. So there you go. If you have SketchUp 2019, you already have access to these line types by layers. The thing to remember is you have to set up your model so that the groups that you want, lines that are dashed in separate layers from the solid lines. It takes a little bit of work, but once you get it set up, you can show different line types right inside your model. So hopefully that helped. If you liked it, like it down below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And most importantly of all, let us know what you thought of that. We like making videos like this, but we like making them a lot more when they're showing something that you want to see. Thank you.